Blackbirders Week is an event that we co-created, co-founded to basically exemplify um, and provide representation for Black birders, um, Black people in STEM. We really want to create the dialogue um, in within the birding community, but also just uplift um, and enhance the Black birders that already exist in the world. Birding is often seen as like this dominated by like white men. Also just nature in general is often dominated by, you know, white people in these spaces, but nature is for everybody. And we want to showcase, you know, all the beautiful black faces, being able to enjoy nature the best way that they can, whether it's through their window or on a hike or something. We really want our, our non-black peers to understand that the experiences that we have as black outdoor enthusiasts, um, we're often felt, we often feel uncomfortable in these spaces because of discrimination and these systematic um, barriers that don't allow black people to, you know, have this recreational release that we often need in our lives because um, there's a lot of stressors out there for black people and they're not the same for, for white people. And um, yeah, we really want our peers to understand we have these difficulties, but outdoors belong to everybody and we need safety and it, will, it cannot be it cannot become safe without the participation of everybody. A lot of people um, have messaged or DM'd and asked, um, I'm not black and I'm not a birder, but how do how can I participate or how can I be involved? And I think everyone's consensus is just do it, repost, support, all support is good support. Um, so we definitely encourage everyone to participate. Um, even if you don't identify with the title, um, you still identify with birding and you still identify with nature. Um, so we definitely encourage, it is for black birders, but everyone can be for that same uh, initiative. I'm from San Antonio, Texas, and that's where I am uh, now. Uh, my favorite bird is the painted bunting. It's just such a colorful, it's so colorful, and it's just so okay. bright. I just feel like I just connect to it so, so closely. It's like a crayon got melted on a bird, and it's, it's prevalent. Like, it's in my backyard every morning, and it makes me so happy to see it every time. I wish I had painted buntings in my backyard. I have cardinals. <laughs> They're good too. It reminds me of home. Um, it's the I, probably the first bird that I really identified. Even when I was a kid, and I was like, I know that one. That is a northern cardinal. Yeah, their song is and their is great, and they're very just charismatic birds. Birding um, has a lot to do with my schooling, so I've really been able to develop my love for nature and exposing and educating Black people in really just increasing our involvement. Um, in outdoors. As far as like the passion in birds, um, I would say that happened in undergrad when I took on an internship where I did some nest searching in South Texas. So I would watch birds build a nest and I would watch them lay eggs in the nest and I got to watch the eggs hatch and then turn into babies. And that whole process, I mean, it still baffles me today. Um, I'm, I'm watching a, um, a black, uh, black, black chinned hummingbird, I think I got that correct. A black chinned hummingbird in my backyard has a nest and it's I'm, I've been watching it day by day just to see like what's going on with the babies and stuff. It's so exciting. So that internship definitely changed my view of like how cool birds are and just how important they are for conservation. They can help um, be like this umbrella species that like helps build habitats and also helps uh, sustain habitats for a number of species. To provide reassurance for those black people that are in STEM, um, that might feel lonely right now. I used to also be in that same position. I didn't see myself represented very much. I was often just like, where are my people? Like, I, I want to connect on a different level to what I enjoy. Um, and I found that through Black AF and STEM. I found that in our group chat on Twitter. So definitely reach out and connect to us online because we're here for you and we, we have your back. Yeah, and we're really fun and cool. We are. <laughs> Come hang out. A general rule that I have, um, and I say it on my YouTube channel all the time, is that people can see genuine, you know, character and they can see authenticity. So if you're being your true self, um, you're truly interested in this passion, then people are drawn to that passion. Go into the room knowing that you know what you know, um, so don't let anyone, like, demean what you know. Um, but also just, like, you belong there. And I think people will, you know, be drawn to that. I was always really an outdoor child, you know, picking up bugs, picking up snakes at like the age of three. So um, being passionate about animals and passionate about the outdoors is something that's been instilled in me. I've been helping run the Instagram. So it's like, I see everything. And it's just like, oh my gosh, all of it's so amazing. But honestly, the messages that I'm getting from other black people that are going outdoors and inside and uh, getting, first off, starting to bird because they see us 
or being more motivated to actually go out because they were initially, you know, dis they felt bad about doing it. I love when people post their grandparents and like, this is my granddad. We go birding or we sit on the porch and do this. Or people posting their children, teaching their children how to do camping, um, how to bird and all that stuff. I just love the, the different levels um, that birding can really, can really overtake. Seeing those messages has made me so emotional, just like happy, sad, like, uh, I'm with you. This is why we're doing it. We want you to be part of us. If I had to give like two definitive tips, one um, would be to follow the community. Um, virtual and social media is really the catalyst for Black Birders Week, but also it's just an amazing network. So if you're not really sure how to get into it or what to do, just search the bird hashtag or black in nature hashtag um, and just follow some people. And if you have questions, just DM. Um, so that would definitely be my first tip. And then second, just to know that um, anything that you do in the, in the realm of birding is birding. If you have a bird feeder in the backyard, that's birding. Um, you don't have to have binoculars to be considered a birder. Uh, so just know that you going outside is good enough. If you have an interest, I mean, just pursue it. Don't let anybody hold you back or tell you that you shouldn't do that activity if you have a passion for it. Like, just just do you. Don't listen to anybody else, what they're saying. Um, take, ter take terrible pictures of birds or bad pictures of plants. Like, it's okay. 